Hey guys, uh, welcome back. And yes, we're back. Yes, we are. And listen, it's good to see some familiar faces. <laughs> Last week we were we were feeling under the weather, and we appreciate your continued <clears throat> support. Thank you for everyone for checking in on us. But listen, nothing can hold us down. From no, no, uh, uh. We fight it off, and we come right back. <laughs> right come back. right back. <laughs> Um, but this time we want to talk about a little process that we all go through called glycation. Whoa, wait, hold up. Let's back up, okay? For those who are new to the channel, go ahead and like and subscribe if you have not done so already. Uh, for the continued viewers, we appreciate you. Go ahead and hit the bell to be notified whenever we drop videos, okay? So let's go back to glycation. I know, I'm using all We're these big words. Ah, uh, my on? gosh. So <laughs> glycation, guys. This is the term um, that is used for uh, what the body goes through um, over time, right? Technically, yeah. right from the moment that you were born, yeah. you were aging, okay? okay? No one That's, that, but... It's an inevitable process, yeah. you know, but how we age, we can control that, right? But nonetheless, we yeah. still go through this glycation process, and that is the internal organs, parts of our body is browning over time, right? Yes, our bone marrow, right? And our cartilage. So it's kind of like that analogy of like a cooked chicken, mm -hmm. cooked turkey, or whatever the case is, right? And guess, guess what causes glycation? Oof. A uh, hundred dollars bingo card? I don't know. What causes glycation? Glucose. Sugar. Sugar. You know, and we did do a video um, before when we yes. talk about how sugar really affects the body. Okay, I can go ahead and um, that up. So yes, you absolutely. That um, so you guys can see. So this is what it does over time to our bodies. It ages us, right? Um, so, of course, there is sugar in almost everything that we eat. But yes. depending on what you eat is the, you know, yeah. the quality of the sugar that you're getting. Exactly. So and basically, glycation is like, is what the wrinkles are. Oh the yeah. Are in so our it, faces, oh yeah. Right? So it eventually starts to show on the outside, obviously, because oh. if you're browning on the inside, on the outside is going to start showing, right? So the saggy you start skin, seeing the saggy, the, the, yep, the wrinkles, spots, and wrinkles. What they call those crow's feet, mile Ooh. lines, whatever, right? They got terrible so, names. So for many the... names for <laughs> these things, and it's mostly just women if you think about it. Yes. In terms of our faces and our beauty, right? Now, um, that's that's half of it right because half of aging is you know what we consume yes. right the other half is what we say to yes. ourselves right yeah. um because it does matter and i i'm saying that to say all right so us for example i mean i don't know about you but okay. for me you know i don't know i'm i'm creeping up in my 30s now mm -hmm. but you couldn't tell no <laughs> Unless you're that hater in the crowd. Okay. You couldn't tell, all right? Some people are like, oh my gosh, you look like you're in your 20s. The you know amount what? of compliments and I on both on our ends that we've been getting that says, oh my gosh, you guys look so young, right? Still getting carded and mm -hmm. still being all that. And it's just like, well, what are the, I guess, youngins not looking this age? Yeah. I mean, honestly, once you change the lifestyle and it becomes more natural, it it feels more easy. There are people living like this all the time because there's people who don't even get access to the sweets and candies and sugar stuff that ages us anyway. Yes. So they have to eat healthy. Usually what, the people in the third world countries, that's probably why they always look so hip and young and healthy and, you know, while we yeah. age in here in America. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah, so this is, you know, being, just so you know, it's being caused by glucose. Yes, it's part of the natural process of glycation. Yeah, and um, even though it's a natural process, right, because mm -hmm. what we want to talk about, there are ways we could slow it down, reduce, like, that aging. And a lot of that is going to have to do with, like we're saying, food, what we consume in our bodies. Mm -hmm. And we're going to dive into that because, um, guys, if you are in your 30s but you want to look a decade younger, uh, start implementing this process now because... <laughs> Age catches up fast. Child, you know. and we don't want that for you. <laughs> <laughs> All them bad habits, it catches up to you fast, baby. You blink, and next thing you know, where does white wrinkles come from? Where, mm -hmm. where does white hair come from? Okay. What? Why where is my skin looking like this? And it didn't before, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. One of the few things that can help you um, help with the slowing down of the aging process bingo is berries now any type of berries strawberries blueberries whatever the great thing about that is like we all know right is 
packed with vitamins, antioxidants, mm -hmm. and all of those things are attacking um, the free radicals in your body mm -hmm. that leads to aging, mm -hmm. right? So it's always good to have food that are any type of berries and put them, put them in your diet wherever you can. Make it colorful, right? Yeah. There, there's a reason why they're saying your plate of food should be very colorful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, and guys, uh, berries are good for you. So are seeds. Mm -hmm. Seeds are really good. Um, there are certain seeds to stay away from that or yeah. not. Um, so we'll have to um, get back to that. But particularly, you know, try to stick with flax seeds and there things we go. like that. Yeah. Um, it's really good for anti-aging, you know. So, Period. Yeah. Um, you can either find a way to consume it or find a way to put in your mask. Yes, whatever. I love that. You can definitely do a face mask with it. And it's so simple because it's just mostly the seed and mm -hmm. water that you're mixing. Mm -hmm. um, one of the other good things, if if you are pescatarian, if you are um, eating fish, uh, fatty fishes are very good. Um, whether it's sardines, whether it is salmon, um, all of those have a lot of good um, nutrients in there that target and give you that collagen for your skin. Mm -hmm. And my favorite, avocados. Oh my gosh, I love avocados. Okay, fatties. Those are good. Those are good for you. So good. Fatty okay. fats. <laughs> um, um, so good. Yeah, and as always, your green vegetables, y'all. Like, I know as a kid, boo-hoo, you didn't want to eat them. Now, get those dark, leafy green vegetables in your diet as of, like, yesterday, okay? Mm -hmm. The fiber is really good for that because then you're kind of, like, you're taking those vitamins in and those nutrients and that fiber, yeah, it's going to keep you young. It's mm -hmm. going to keep your bones and your organs acting the way it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. That little snap back, that little bounce back, that okay? Little, okay. <laughs> and guess what? Because I feel like that's what the Asians be doing. They be looking so young. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, Asian don't raisin. <laughs> Black don't crack. They, they be knowing what the... Well, hold on a second. What's the next one here? The next one is... Green tea. Because I was going to say, all they drink is tea. Okay. And the green tea is helpful with that because it is fighting those free yes, radicals. Honey. It has a lot of those antioxidants in there, packed in there to help you fight these gut stuff. Okay. Which is usually where it accumulates, right? Yeah. But yeah. And the good thing about that it's too. Your tea's on. <laughs> the good thing about that too is not can you can you only drink it, you can also put it on your face. Mm -hmm. So you could recycle and reuse those tea bags, make a little nice face mask for you, leave it on for five to ten minutes, and boom, there we go. <laughs> make it into a consistent habit, you know? Easy peasy. Right? The last one is palm uh well not the last one, the second to last one is pomegranate. Mm -hmm. Y'all get into that fruit. It's simple. Mm -hmm. It's good if you like it but it's you know you could um put it in your smoothies you could chew the seed by itself you could make a mask you already know what it mm -hmm. is just you know take it on down and guys of course we're gonna mention collagen uh peptides okay yeah. um definitely get some collagen in there where you can exactly you know? um they make them in different type of forms now if you can just purchase yourself you know yeah or you could drink it it's a powder form whatever mm -hmm. the case is but get it into your diet yeah absolutely um you'll see the change over time um and honestly those will just be the things to kind of help boost it because i yeah. feel like the biggest thing for you which you know we're not gonna push you to be a vegan right now but yeah. You drop your meat, honey. Okay. Your skin gonna be glowing tomorrow. Drop the meat and drop the dairy. Okay. If you didn't hear it now, you heard it. That's like one of the biggest things that I've noticed personally. Because when you think, when yeah. you think about our skincare journey, right? For me, that was the biggest thing I've noticed. And mm -hmm. I to go and tell people all the time and it's great because when they actually listen to me like i had a few friends i've told to like drop the dairy you know drop the meat and they've done like a little tubes exercise came back face was in the glowing mm -hmm. yeah and she would just say like wow like um it made a huge difference in my skin mm -hmm. dairy got y'all is a huge like mucus builder in your body mm -hmm. you want to get rid of that absolutely and guys we know this is important because all over the world people are talking about anti-aging creams and products and things like yes. that yes we all want to stay younger much longer so that we can you know be with yeah. the children and um get to see them grow up and things like that so exactly. we know this is tea for y'all you know but will y'all listen that's mm -hmm. always the question <laughs> That's up to them, right? <laughs> that's up and to also, stop talking to yourself crazy because that's the next part of it too is a spiritual practice yes. as well. Yeah. Because our words have meaning, right? So a lot of my friends who are like in their 30s, 40s now, y'all love saying, oh, I'm getting old. Mm -hmm. Who? 
my bones or my this, my that. That's that's not in my vocabulary. Not at all. I don't say that because I know how powerful my words are. Okay. So I say things like, oh, look how much younger I'm getting. Okay. Every day I'm getting so much more energy by the day. And I'm just, younger. Yep. How active I am. Like my skin is what? aging backwards. Like you couldn't tell that I was this age, you at know? All. And these are the kinds of things that we say to ourselves. Yeah. Because we know that words have vibrations. They do things when we speak them, right? Exactly. You know, manifestation type stuff. It's, it's nothing new now, hopefully. Because I know a lot of us still live under a rock. But, okay, you know, keep up. Keep yeah. up with us. All right? Stay with us, folks. Okay? Make um, it a eat habit. Eat your fruits. Eat your vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and on top of that, get some exercise. Like, mm-hmm. you'd be surprised. But all of that, too, helps fight the free radicals in your body. Absolutely. You know, like, getting rid of the, like, if you are eating dairy, or eating dairy products and everything else. Exercising gets rid of that lactate, mm-hmm. all that milk stuff in from your body. So, get moving. Okay? <laughs> All right now, <laughs> don't stay stagnant. <laughs> no. Um, but guys, I mean, and try to limit the sugar as best as you can. Some of you are struggling with diabetes, you know, high blood pressure and all those other things in yeah. which having too much salt or sugar in your body um, is really just tipping you off the scale. Um, well, it's aging you too, okay. <laughs> if you didn't know that already. Um, so get that in check. Um, really just cut back. Cut it back on those things. When we were kids, yeah, mm-hmm. we indulged, but we're adults now. So let's make better decisions, y'all. Exactly. And not to mention, we already know about drinking and smoking. We didn't mention those because those are the top two things that already ages you guys. I mean, I hope we knew that this was obvious. Okay. So <laughs> that's a little plug at the end to be like, wait a minute. Y'all didn't mention this. Well, it's common Yeah, it's, it's kind of, you know, the big one. Yeah. <laughs> Stop smoking, stop drinking. All Period, right. right? So let us know about the process. Like, did you guys know about the glycation process? Yeah. I mean, the fact and how it's actually a, like a sign, you know, like a thing happening. Yes. Because I didn't think about it like that. Like, no. Like, there's something happening to your organs day by day, day by every day. day. Cooking. Cooking. It's browning like a chicken. Do you yeah. smell what the rock is cooking? Well, <laughs> let's go ahead and ask her body because something's going <laughs> cooking in there. All right. So start eating healthy, take care of your bodies, and slow down your glycation process. All right. Okay. Well, go ahead and uh, like and subscribe if you have not done so already, y'all. What are some other tips and tricks you can share? Whether it's skincare, whether it's food that we didn't mention, mm-hmm. drop it down in the comment. We'd love to know about it. Okay. Yeah. Well, until then, we'll see you guys next week. Next week. Yeah. Bye.